Hello everyone, and welcome to a special Ancient and Medieval Adventures Countdown. Today, we will be looking at the five coolest inventions from the medieval world as determined by our very own Museum of Antiquities education team. Right at the bottom of our list, in the number five spot, is the astrolabe. An astrolabe is an early scientific device used to measure the angle of the sun, moon, and stars in the sky, and was used to solve astronomical problems. It was mostly used to tell time before the use of mechanical clocks, since it could measure 12 equal hours of day and 12 equal hours of night, but it was not always entirely reliable. Although there were a few different kinds of astrolabes, the most common one was the planispheric astrolabe, which was flat, like this Chaucer astrolabe. The spherical astrolabe was very similar, except it was shaped like a globe. Spherical astrolabes were used less often and were thought of as less accurate. The astrolabe was first written about in the 6th century CE in the Egyptian city of Alexandria, but didn't become a popular instrument until the 10th century in the Middle East and the 11th century in Europe. Have you ever tried to imagine what life would be like if we didn't pay attention to the time? After you hear about our number four choice for top medieval inventions, you might. Mechanical clocks were invented in Italy in the early 14th century. So before then, time was usually measured by sundials, which were found on the side of church buildings. Sundials could only show the general hours of the day, not minutes, and weren't very precise. When mechanical clocks began to be used, people were able to tell the exact time rather than just roughly what time of day it was. At first, mechanical clocks were only found on church towers and replaced some of the existing sundials. But by the time the 15th century rolled around, clocks began to be used by individuals. If you could afford it, you could have your very own mechanical clock in your home. The invention of mechanical clocks completely changed the way life operated, as daily life began to be structured by time. There was even an argument over what time the new year should begin, and now, because of mechanical clocks, we begin the new year at 12 a.m. on January 1st. In the number three spot is the trebuchet. The medieval trebuchet was inspired by a similar invention used in China from the 5th century BCE, which was introduced to the Mediterranean in the 6th century CE. The trebuchet replaced the catapult and was the most effective weapon used in warfare in the 12th and 13th centuries in Europe. The use of the trebuchet in warfare even prompted builders to find new ways to construct castles so they could better withstand blows from these large weapons. With the help of gravity, they would launch rocks at incredible speeds into castle walls, causing them to crumble to the ground. Trebuchets have a long pivoting beam with a large hook on one end and a counterweight on the other. When the counterweight is released, the force of gravity sends the hook end flying upward, launching the attached items at great speeds. You would not want to be in a castle when this weapon was being used. The number two spot on our list goes to none other than gunpowder and its related uses. Experiments with potassium nitrate, also known as saltpeter and a main ingredient in gunpowder, began in the 6th century in China. Saltpeter was originally used for seasoning foods instead of actual salt because it was easier to acquire. Early versions of explosives in the 7th and 8th centuries were made of pieces of bamboo with saltpeter inside. In the 9th century, a Chinese scientist discovered that combining saltpeter, arsenic sulfide, urine, and honey, and then lighting the mixture on fire would create an incredibly hot flame. Eventually, after lots of experiments, the perfect recipe was discovered. The recipe included saltpeter, sulfur, and carbon, which became the earliest form of gunpowder. It was used by the Chinese army in the 10th century as the explosive ingredient in rockets. The rockets used by the Chinese army led to the use of similar objects for beautiful explosions in the air, now known as fireworks. Early versions of fireworks were created by adding different substances to the gunpowder mixture that added color to the explosions, and they were used in celebrations and in special ceremonies to ward off evil spirits. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, ancient and medieval adventures pick for the most important invention of the medieval world is the scientific method. Anyone who has ever taken a science class has heard of the scientific method. The scientific method was created by scholars who wanted to know more about the world around them. Many of the laws of nature that we have discovered in the last thousand years or so would not have been possible without the scientific method. The scientific method is a process of several steps that can vary slightly depending on what is being researched. 
In general, there are six steps to follow. One, ask a question. Two, observe and gather information. Three, make a hypothesis or a prediction of what the result will be based on the information you've gathered. Four, conduct an experiment to test your hypothesis. Five, analyze the results of your experiment. And six, make a conclusion and discuss if your hypothesis was correct. Although the modern scientific method was not formalized until the Renaissance, the contributions of scientists from the Islamic Golden Age form the basis of the scientific method. Hassan ibn al-Haytham, sometimes called al-Hazm in the West, was an 11th century scientist working in Cairo who realized the importance of conducting experiments to study the natural world. Through forming hypotheses and carrying out experiments, al-Haytham was able to understand how the human eye perceives light and why the moon can appear to be larger or smaller some nights. Scientists and philosophers of the Renaissance were able to build upon al-Haytham's ideas, which led to the formalization of the scientific method as we know it today. Thank you for watching. What did you think of our list? Let us know what your favorite medieval inventions are on our social media pages. For more fun activities and lessons, visit Ancient and Medieval Adventure Camps online.